Ah, what's up, everybody? How's it going? Uh, hold on one second right here. Uh, and uh, my buddy who came in, no, we don't want no 400. No, we don't want 400 people in here. Definitely not. But thank you. Hold on. I thought I was live. Let some people get in. Hey there, Calandra, what's it like in New York City when everybody knows you ratted? I imagine pretty shitty who like you. Times Square hasn't scum that rivals you. I swear it's true. Hey there, Calandra, don't you worry about the distance. I'm right there if you get lonely. Give this song another listen. Close your eyes. Listen to the voice that you despise. I'm by your side. Slower than penny sea. 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 Hey there, Calandra, I know times are getting hard Cause you teamed up with the begging scumbags And took everything too far, you're just no good You won't have the life you thought you would You never could Hey there, Calandra, I've got so much more to say If every simple song I wrote for you Would take your world away, I'd write it all Break them chains and down the rabbit hole you fall, we'll have a ball. Slower than penny sea, slower than penny sea. Slower than penny sea, slower than penny sea. A thousand miles seems pretty far They monitor planes and trains and cars So I'll sing to you since I have no other way My friends and I, we laugh at you Because you act like such a fool And everyone who knows you feels this way Calandra, I can promise you That by the time that we get through Your world will never ever be the same And you're to blame Hey there, Calandra, you be good and don't you miss me Every single time you cross the line I'll be here making parodies like I do You'll know it's all because of you I'll do whatever I want to Hey there, Calandra, here's to you This one's for you Slower than penny sea, slower than penny sea, slower than penny sea, slower than penny sea, slower than penny sea. Whoa. Uh, what's up, everybody? We got a uh, Pittsburgh Pookie is back, folks. Pittsburgh Pookie is back. Now, you must be thinking, what is going on with Emmy the Helmet? Helmetitis. What is going on with Emmy the Grip? Hey, doing move. What is going on? What's up, Sug? What's up, Paul? Jason, Gianni, Kev, what's up? Yes, well, no, the helmet has crashed viciously. I believe he's smoking crack again. 
I believe my hypothesis that Emmy is dabbling in big 911 rocks and boulders and crumbs and yum, yum, yum. Emmy wants his crack pipe. Here we come. Pittsburgh Pookie's on the way. Who, who, who? Pittsburgh Pookie might be what? Oh, no. Pittsburgh Pookie's smoking rocks. And he's smoking big ones. He's all disheveled in the car. The days of V-Dial Sassoon with the slick back hair is gone. It's gone and never coming back. And he's in a lot of trouble. He's living in the car. He's got toilet paper behind him. There's a lot of trouble for the rat. Emmy. He's mad that other rats are making money and he's not making no scud all on here, folks. Emmy's YouTube channel is gone. It's out for the count. It's gone if it ever was there. No, in all honesty. The, and he's only going to blame himself. The Tommy Karate lie. The Tommy Patera lie buried Emmy. Buried him because let's face it, folks, these people watch these rats channels for what stories, right? And once you get caught in a lie, they don't want to watch you no more. Jimmy, you stupid son of a bitch, you fucking dunsky, slip and fall school fucking dropout. He's living in the car. He's got his toiletries back there. He's wiping his ass in the back seat. His whole life is in this car. Do you see all the little luggage and stuff? Well, four weeks ago when Jimmy told us all, he's going to go kill Nick Cow Cow. Nick, almost like Cow Cone, bruh. We go kill Nick Cow Cone, which is me. He's trying to say my name. My name is Nick Colacone, a Nick Colacone, or some people like to say around here, Calicone, whatever you call it. Jimmy can't pronounce Italian names. Emmy's not human. Agnostic knows that. Agnostic knows everything about Emmy in that neighborhood. Dynamite, like J.J. Walker says. But guess what? J.J. wasn't smoking crack. J.J. Walker and Velma were not smoking crack like Pittsburgh Pookie. So let's get back to the story, folks. Where were I? Well, it was me. I was talking about Jimmy, saying he was going to come kill me, all that stuff. Well, that didn't work out. So Emmy went from New York to Pittsburgh. He's back in Pittsburgh, folks, smoking cocaine in a fucked up shack. And I'll show you the shack he's in. Here he is with disheveled hair. I want you to notice this side of Emmy's face is all clean shaved. What's up, C Vids? Backseat Emmy. Carol, Gianni, how's it going? Scottish Dev Agnostic. Look at the nice clean shaved right here. And then watch the other side of the face. Not shaved, whiskers, little Brussels sprouts shooting out of the cheeks and the chin. Little kitten whispers coming out of everywhere, sort of like Ken Hinkley. Let's get into Emmy's breakdown. He's going to he's gonna cry about stool pigeons and all kinds of fun little stuff. I bet she's got a 12-pack of Crayola back there with a crack pipe ready to go to town back in Pittsburgh. Let's go, Jimmy. Bedhead. You know, I see a guy like Mike. I want you to notice, before he gets into his Mikey Scares rambles, what's up, Jets? Lawrence Taylor, man. Foolish Flock. What's up? Pain like Bane, my bro. Mobland, TFs, what's up? Shout out to the Romanians, the beautiful Romanian women, and God bless your husband. Now, I want you to notice the whiskers, all the whiskers and the little fur on Emmy's face. Emmy's smoking rocks. You can believe this. Uh, my hypothesis is he is smoking crack cocaine. He's lost his mind the last few months, not making shit on YouTube. He's going to allude to that. Look at all the whiskers on the lower half of the chin, this zone, this sector right here. Looks like sector furry. We'll call this sector fur. Uh, right here, we got some more wolfy hair coming out. But let's let uh, Bonnie Rubble tell us his fucking story, this Dunsky. Look at him. He got hit with a fucking shovel. He scars, okay? This guy comes on and, uh, you know, he wants to knock Sammy. And don't get me wrong, look, I'm not defending Sammy. I'm not really a big Sammy fan. He was def uh, oh, thank you, Breaker of Chain. He was defending Sammy a long time ago. He not only was defending Sammy Gravano, behind him he had Sammy the Schmeagel Gravano, child killer, fucking wall of fame. He had all Sammy pictures, all like it, it, like it was Justin Bieber or Jordan Knight or Elvis on the wall in the 50s or David Cassidy in 1977. He had all these little David Cassidy pictures up of uh, of uh, Sammy Gravano, Schmeagel, the child killer. He fucking worshipped him. He paid five grand to go to his house and got a 15-minute interview. 
I'm really not. You know, I visited Sammy. I had some fun with him. <laughs> uh, I stayed at his house for five days. Five grand. The guy really is a funny guy. Uh, you know, I know he's a stone cold killer. I know uh, he cooperated. He was the underboss. But Mikey Scars wants to knock Sammy. Mikey Scars, you put away over 80 guys. So, so you should be loving Scares for putting all those guys in jail. He should be Team Emmy, Team Cooperator, Team Rat Cheese Boy. Look at him looking all around. He looks, he looks high as a fucking kite in this car. I don't even know how you got the balls to even talk about Sammy. Seriously. What's up, Jay? You know, people could look at my life. They could tell all oh, their yeah. lies and their fake stories. My story is I was a young kid growing up looking, at, looking up to these guys, and I never wanted to be a wise guy. He just said, you, you, you know how many times he looked up to me, wanted to be like these guys. So you wanted to be a wise guy. You're the biggest mafia fanboy we've ever seen, Emmy. You were selling other men's inmate cards, putting fake wires on guys last year that you've seen in a fucking bakery. You come on YouTube, say the man's real name and call him a, wife, uh, a member of some mob family. When I did the video, I had to bleep the guy's fucking name out. You're the biggest rat bastard on here, dude. You're just mad because the other rats are making money. All of the rats are making money on here but you. And you have only yourself to blame for lying to your audience. I never played a part of wanting to be a wise guy. Jesus. You could... I have a lot of regrets. <laughs> I see a therapist once a month just to talk to her. It should be once a day. When Jimmy goes in that therapist's office, you think he's flinging shit everywhere. He must be humming shit everywhere. And I mean feces kind of shit. Jimmy, no hustle. No hustle whatsoever. Not even on YouTube. What's up, Eddie? How you doing? <laughs> I hear you. God bless you. Uh, as Quayon's in the car, I was talking like he's police man. Yeah, he's out of his mind. He only wanted to be a well. Let me see what I'm going to put what Johnny said right there. I think goes by so quick. Wise guy. Yes, yeah, Savasity athlete. <laughs> That's funny. All right, let's listen to this fucking blow heart. Yeah, swinging feces around like Travis the chimpanzee because Jimmy did a thing like Travis did. Travis the chimpanzee killed that woman. Well, Jimmy went and killed that woman, too. He was in the car. He keep blames Tommy Reynolds. Everything. Tommy made me do it. Tommy Reynolds made me do it. Tommy made me. Nobody, listen, you knew you were going on a home invasion. You bring guns to somebody's house. Don't you know that somebody can get killed? You know? Like, no, we don't need 400 people in here. Thank you, my brother, but we don't need 400. Yes, when he wanted to sell his old clothing. Yes, I put a stop to that real quick with one video pointing out. He just said he wanted to help the children. And now he's selling his used clothing, not donating them to none of the kids. You could have gave them to the kids in the Ukraine at the time. You could have gave them to some inner city fucking kid. Could have gave them to any kid in your fucking neighborhood. You wanted to sell your used dungarees and your used slacks on fucking YouTube. Didn't start. It didn't work. True story, I made rubber head stutter in fear, and I didn't even threaten him. No, just talking truths, that's all. He's scared because all of the neighborhood guys are coming home or came home, and I guess they're telling stories to people that Jimmy's a liar. To let things that, you know, bother me, <laughs> and it stays there. Because it I'm stays there. Now he's going to throw his little rat squad under the bus. He's going to throw Team Rat under the bus because all the friends I have... Tell my doggies and tell my doggies. Listen. Obviously, you can't talk to anybody today because uh, everyone is a washwoman. They just yap, yap, yap. They can't keep Speak for yourself. I can talk to my friends and they won't repeat shit. Keep a secret. They can't keep a conversation to themselves. You can't talk to nobody. In well, you, you should have listened to Schmeagle, the child killer. He told you not to befriend the pole smoker and, the, uh, and Piggy. He warned you not to befriend them. You had to do it. Even now, you'll see later in this video, Jimmy's trying to assemble a bunch of douchebags on YouTube to dox and harass people. Oh, I love it, Emmy. Keep doing it. You just make, you make my day, Helmet. In confidence, you can't even trust people today. Speak for yourself, Jimmy. But, uh, my I got a lot of good friends and cousins and family I can trust. I'm very blessed. Mikey Scars, for example, this guy comes on. He thinks he's the smartest guy in the world. 
I mean, he should really tell the truth that, you know, he looked at only 10 years on a plea deal. He was looking at. 10- oh, he realizes it, Redzilla. He realizes it. He sure does. And he can't stomach it. Mob Rats UK, my bro, what's up? 10 years on a plea deal. 10 years, maybe 12 years. Say, I, let's say the most 15 years, okay? If they offer me 15 years, in all honesty, I would have took the 15 yeah, years. Yeah, right. See, he contradicts okay. himself. I thought you wanted to get out of the mob or associate as the mob because you were never a fucking gangster. Anthony Sparrow didn't even know you. You got on a stand and told the dead Paulie G story, you rat bastard. I don't know how many years Jimmy was looking at. I don't know, but uh, let's say he was looking at 25. That's only 10 more than 15, big tough guy. Why don't you take it? I don't want to do nothing. But he's a fucking rat. You know, my story is a lot different than... A lot of other people's stories. Jimmy, yes. Everybody's story is different, Jimmy. When did you figure that out? Second grade, you fucking Dunsky? Everyone has their own story. Everyone you know? has their own crack pipe. And my crack pipe's back there with a little glass pipe with a rose in it and some choy. And I'm in Pittsburgh, so I'm going to smoke crack. My story is Tommy Reynolds got me involved Listen. in killing a woman. Let's run that back. Everyone has their own story. You know, Tommy, how did Tommy Reynolds get you involved? You did. You went on that fucking home invasion yourself. What's up, DJ? Huck, what's going down? Uh, Scottish Deb, how's it going? Don't you all agree? Uh, no, I don't want 300 people in here. No, uh, no other view. No, those aren't real views. No fake views, people. Rooster Cogra, my bro, what's going on? Thank you. But no, uh, no, only real live viewers. But well, listen, oh, my story is Tommy Reynolds got me involved. And my story, Tommy Reynolds got me involved. No, you got in that fucking car. You knew, you knew that you were going to do a home invasion with guns. Somebody could die. Take responsibility for you. So you have to take no responsibility, man. Killing a woman. What's up, Dynamite? Uh, they killed my friend, Paulie G, while I was away. And don't get- hey, listen, after they killed Paulie G, he came home. He was friends with them guys. Don't let him fool you. Oliver, my bro, he was friends with them guys. He was liking uh, the guy Calco's fucking Instagram post a year ago. So don't let him tell you, like he tried to say in that stupid documentary, that the only reason he told on them because they killed Paulie G and nobody in that life was loyal. The typical rat thing. Everybody's going to rat, so let me rat. Typical rat fucking move. You have a lot of gangs today out there. You have the Albanians. What's he? T- look, he's, Mexican, he's all over the place. Mexican mafia. These guys, they're just fucking stupid. Those are guys. The dope, I, dma, I live in here with toilet paper. Jesus. You just got to shoot right in the face and just walk away. These, some people you can't even talk to no more. He yeah, just said, if you ever see a, a Mexican mob member or MS-13 member, you should just shoot him in the face. What the fuck did he just... What does that even mean? You should just shoot them in the face? What the fuck? This guy's out of his mind. Just fucking clip him. Wait, there's no way there's 470 people in here. That's some real fake bullshit right there. Whoever's putting the fake numbers on, take them down. Okay, but you have these people on YouTube... Watch Harry. Here he is crying, crying that people criticize him about his stories. If you come on YouTube and you've got a fucking uh, a story channel where you tell stories, no, maybe maybe about the fucking would be mafia that you looked up to, or may it be about fucking trucks, cars, dogs, whatever. If you start lying to people, right? If you start lying to people, they're not going to want to watch you no more. And you got caught in a Tommy karate lie. Yeah, those are fugazis. They're fugazi. It's probably like 110 people in here. Uh, <laughs> once you tell a lie, there goes your fucking, there goes your uh, your channel. Uh, and that's what happened. And Jeff Nadu, I don't like Jeff Spanky, but Spanky did a video. Someone sent me a little clip of Spanky yelling at the helmet in a video saying, Jimmy, stop talking shit about everybody. You're just mad that you got caught in your Tommy karate lie, and that's what fucked your channel. And let me tell you, this little the spankster was spankatociously on point. They're actually pointing fingers at other people. Meanwhile, you got to look at their story and see <clears throat> the things they didn't. <clears throat> he's got some gerbil hair in his mouth. I love the fact that he says he's not. 
He's not a Sammy fan, sir. You paid like one k, more like five today to hang out with him. You could have went to, you could have went to Bora Bora, but no, no. <laughs> What's up, man? Uh, every time I watch me on brain cells, yes, he he is really. Why do you think I named him the helmet? Why do you think I gave him the name Jimmy the Helmet? Because he's Stunad. He's Stugats. He's fucking crazy. He's Zubats. Their life. You got pedophiles on here that are uh, knocking other people. And uh, then you got other people calling other people rats. Meanwhile, they're rats. Another guy, Joe Molino. Joe Molino. Like, hey, jealousy. Look how jealous he is of the skinny guy. He's so jealous of Joey. All these rats are so jealous of the guy, Molino. They're so fucking triggered and butthurt that he is on YouTube. You know, when Joey Molino first came on, I kind of sort of uh, maybe liked him a little. You know, you're a stand-up guy. Uh, you're coming on. I know you need the money. I know you're a brokester. That's a great That's a great point. Uh, it's, he's got a lot of – he just called the guy Malino a brokester. I don't know what Malino makes, but he makes money on YouTube. He's got a way bigger channel than you, Emmy. All the rats hate Joey, yes, because he's not a rat. Uh, Malino makes a lot more money on YouTube than you do, Jimmy. And Jimmy's going to allude to that in this video. Very, uh, He's going to touch it with a needle. He's going to touch it with a needle. He's going to he's going to say, I used to make a lot of money on here, then catches himself and changes the story. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Sure. He's seen. Hey, listen, he's to totally full of shit. He called him a broke. Like I said, I don't know Malino's financial. I don't know the guy. I never spoke with him. Don't fucking know him. But I do know the views he gets on YouTube and Jimmy don't get them views. Nope. Jimmy got caught in a lie and threw everything away because of the Tommy Karate Photoshop picture and 15 minute video saying that him and uh, Paulie G went up to visit Tommy. Tommy wrote people. I talked to Tommy's friends who sells his paintings. Tommy's got every fucking paperwork of everyone who ever came and visit him. And you never visited him or Paulie G. 100% you're broke. Everyone tells me you're broke. Look, people who know everybody who tells him, everybody tells him you're broke. He's broke. Wow. You. Tell me you broke, okay? Wow. Actually, why are you worried about? And then he see this guy's such a hypocrite. He he's gonna sit here and give fellatio and and chase clout. The young term the young kids use clout chases the whole time, right? Why well, this guy's just fucking sick. I used to talk to your brother-in-law. Listen, it is okay. The guy who uh, had a baby with your sister. Kid Joey. He likes talking about people's families, but if we stop Jimmy, you know, uh, I'm going to talk about it later in this video when he makes a threat towards everybody. You like talking about people's families. Have you noticed I've never made fun of your family? Never made fun of your family. There's a lot of, you don't think people from your neighborhood have hit me up in DMs and emailed me stories of escapades about your mother and your whole family, Jimmy? Yeah, I never used that. I did that because I don't do that. I don't need to do that. So you should stop telling your little chimpanzees that are doing that to stop because someday some guy who's going to come along with an MRE with no morals is going to call him along and a mob rats exposed with no morals is going to come along and they're going to fucking do everything that you and your little buddies are doing, doxing, looking up people. They're going to do that shit to you. Hardcore. You're lucky. It was me, Jimmy, that I'm your fucking master. You're my bitch. You're lucky. You're in my stable. You little slut. And uh, he, he's a good kid. I met him one time in Philadelphia with my friend Jimmy. But uh, we know all about you, Joey Molino. That's right. You're a brokester. You really never did nothing, okay? That position, as far as acting boss, was handed down to you. And you got balls to call anybody a rat because you're the biggest rat there is. All right, all right. I don't know the Molino guy. I'm not sticking up for him like a fucking fanboy or nothing. But how's the guy a fucking rat? How is the guy a rat? And who says he's even a mob guy just because the fucking news has said it and the fucking FBI, like the guy's not a mob guy. And let's say he was a mob guy. Let's be the, uh, and believe everything they put out. He was this big mob guy. Evidently he's not no more. The guy's trying to fly the straight and narrow. Uh, and what's the big deal? He didn't tell on nobody. We're going to sit there and call the man a rat. Unfucking believable. Doesn't okay. You're me. supposed to be a stand up guy. You're on YouTube guys in the underworld. Do not Who says the guys in the underworld go on YouTube? 
I'm not in the underworld. I cooperate with the government. Yes, you did, rap boy. I could do what I want. I do what I want. I can take a threat in people. I can say I love God. And I can threaten you with the FBI. Potato. And believe me, you don't want to fuck with me. That's 100 Look, they don't want to fuck with 100%. Because you know what Jimmy does? He says, woof, woof, woof. He sells woof tickets. He says, sells wolf tickets, wolf tickets. This guy's threatened me 75 times on here. He's all fuck. He's a paper tiger. Paper tiger hidden gerbil. And I know where that gerbil's hidden. Okay. I have a lot of law enforcement friends. And uh, I'm at the point of my life. I'm going to be 55 this year. I don't care about nobody. As far he doesn't, this, this is what a big hypocrite. If you didn't care about nobody, you wouldn't be doing this video crying about everybody, you jealous fucking idiot. You are one stupid son of a bitch. I know guys who went to jail who, who read books and became smart, you know, with jailhouse lawyers, guys who fucking got intelligent, learned how to write books through the whole nine. Fucking, you're fucking stupid. I don't know how many years he spent in the can, two or three, but he didn't read no fucking books. Barbers, uh, these fake tough guys, of course. Uh, the only have- fake tough guys is you and your rat friends. You're the only people who threaten to beat people. Whoever's, why does these people got five? There's no 525 people in here. Whoever's pulling, uh, putting these numbers in here, take them off. I don't want fake numbers. I have no problem. Uh, I'll just leave it at that. I have no problem. I just got to leave it at that. Look, I didn't shave the lip off of my face. I want a cookie. Fucking dope. Look at this dizzy son of a bitch. What fucking atmosphere? What fucking universe is this guy on? What planet does he reside on? Jesus. Okay. Okay, I am it. You know, when I would start first doing YouTube, I was making good money. There you go. Here's the key. Did you hear that, folks? Once again, this is a this is the main reason for this video in the Calamandria meltdown. Spanky uh concurs. The spankster concurs with this, I believe. The little kid with the chia pet on his head. You know, when I would start first doing YouTube, I was making good money. Is making really decent money until you made the Tommy Karate lie up and you hooked up with all those shitbirds, all the fanboys <laughs> who made fun of you and took the and took the sides of the men who hate you. The channels that he helped build have rats on there that hate him, make fun of him, tell stories about him getting slapped and abused. They even call him the helmet for Christ's sakes. I'm gonna probably come back. I'm looking for a co-host. He's looking for a female co-host. Not a good idea, ladies. We all know the story about Jimmy the Helmet Calamandria Weinstein going up to Tommy Reynolds' girlfriend saying, Tommy cheating on you at Motel Room right now. And the girl says, really? Well, take that. I want to catch this son of a bitch in action. They go to the hotel room. There's no Tommy Reynolds there. There's no girl there. There's just Emmy trying to score her at and he didn't rape her or nothing sick like that. She just He just tried to hook up with her. He came out with a bathrobe, opened the bathrobe up, and she says, I am not attracted to you in that way. And she walked out. For, to Calandra's credit, he did not try to muckle her and hump her leg or grope her <laughs> like he does with all the fucking hamsters and fucking poodles. You know, a male, someone that has the time, someone with a brain. Who's going to want to work for you, Emmy? A fucking dire, disheveled, disheveled channel. Yeah, Shia LaBeouf, yes. They laughed at him. He's got no movie. He's got no story. Ha, 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 ha. Don't be a sh- shout out to Rob Convict Inc. out there. What's up, devil? LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Fucking idiot. The guy listened to him and Shia said, you know what? This guy's a piece of shit. Fuck him and his stupid story of bullshit. He probably fact checked Emmy. I'll be fact checked him. Hit that like button. I know there's not 700 people and it's ridiculous. Whoever's pulling the prank, you're not funny. You know, do a show every day. I want to do a show every day eventually. Please do, Emmy, but you're not going to have a co host in case you get Tokyo Rose. Emmy, Emmy, go home, GI. GI, go home. 
Maybe Tokyo Rose or the fat kid with the Doritos. I don't know. Who's going to help you? Do we? But. Get it, Chico. Deep Thoughts by Jimmy Helmet. Today, I found a hamster and I shaved him. Fucking idiot. Loved them. Growing up, I loved these guys, in all honesty. You said he didn't well, He didn't look up to the wise guys, didn't want to be a wise guy. Of course you did, Jimmy. Frank Porco, great guy. He's had conversations oh, with him. Well, loved him. Uh, Sparrow, at one time. Sparrow, I loved the one. The other time, oh, my God. This guy, Anthony Sparrow, he says, was a predator. Anthony Sparrow was a bad guy, took advantage of all the young kids, made them steal hubcaps and candy bars. This guy talks out of the side of his ass and the side of his mouth constantly. I really did. Anthony Sparrow was a great guy. Sally Sparrow. Wow, he was a great guy. All your, How many fucking videos do I have of you, Emmy, calling Anthony Sparrow a no good drug dealer, or a scumbag? He preyed on young kids. But now he's a good guy again. That's why nobody respects you, Jimmy, because you have no constitution. You're like every other fucking stool pigeon out here you got no constitution all you fucking rat lovers and rat fucks you can't stay loyal no constitution you flip flop on fucking everything on every fucking belief and thing you fucking say this moron one week he hates sparrow the next week he's a good guy he was a bad guy he can't make his money he's a fucking fanboy he didn't even know the fucking guy that's a fact sparrow but these guys, when I was a kid, were good kids. Now, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. These guys, when I was a kid, was good kids. Jimmy's all over the place. This is crack cocaine, people. If anybody out there does have a drug problem, I would seek get help. Please do not be an Emmy. Pittsburgh Pookie is back. The worst thing is, like me. He, look, this is his halfway to Pittsburgh. We're, uh, he's gonna. We're gonna end this video in Pittsburgh, high on cocaine in a crack house. In the crack shack is a little low place where Emmy can smoke together. Crack shack, baby. I had to cooperate. I had to, I had to rat. You didn't have to. You chose to rat. You chose to get in trouble. You chose to tell on your friends. Okay, something I, I didn't want to do. I didn't want to do it. I didn't want to do it, but I did it because I, I'm a good guy and I love God and that's a bad world. And I wanted to be a gangster, but I didn't want it to make your fucking mind up. You fucking stutter and dribbling fool. It's the adventures of Jimmy Dribbles. Oh, honestly, I never wanted to do it, but you know why? But you know why? Today I say that, but two weeks ago I said I wanted to change my life. And that when the streets will never love you back. But now Pittsburgh Pookie is on crack, so his mind's all over the place. He's on crack cocaine. William, what's up? God bless you, William. God bless you. He's on crack cocaine. He's got to be. How would he be talking all over the place like this? He tried to make it the fucking, to Pittsburgh. He, he couldn't help it. It's a trigger. He must have stopped halfway to Pittsburgh and got a crack pipe. Wearing all those little roses and glasses, and they take the fucking Brillo pad, fucking metal shit, Troy, and they smoke. I did it because I knew there was only a couple ways out of this life. One of them was talking. What life? You didn't want to be in that life, though. You didn't want to be a gangster. So what What the fuck? He made Total contradiction. Hypocrisy and contradictions out of their ass right here. Welcome to the government. The other one was someone killing me or doing life in prison. I don't want to go to jail and spend the rest of my life in prison. Then don't do crimes and don't go pull home invasions with guns because there's always a chance somebody's going to get killed and you're going to go to jail. And that's the course you chose. Then take your medicine and go to jail. I'm worth so much more. Yeah. I really am. I'm uh, wow. You're worth so much more. What the nest, your toiletries back there. You're living out of a fucking car, a smart car. You're living out of a fucking electric smart car, Jimmy. Give me it. No, I got nothing against electric smart cars. But you're living out of a fucking car. So you're, you're, not, you're not worth much more than anything. You're not even a good father, in my opinion. I heard what you say at the end of this video. We'll only get to that about how people's families should be looked up and all that. You're begging for some asshole. I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to give you this advice. Okay. Stop saying shit like that. 
because one of these scumbags out here are going to fuck with your kids, man. And then it's not cool. And I don't do that shit, but <laughs> you keep egging people on and talking about how you're backing these people. Yeah, they're going to fuck with your families. People are going to fuck with your family. So stop that shit, man. And that's me giving you a real advice right there because your kids are innocent and they're good kids. And nobody should fuck with them. But when you're on YouTube telling people they should fuck with people's families and look them up, someone's going to come along, give you a taste of your own medicine. Don't do that, man. I tried to warn the, your stupid buddies about that, and they didn't listen. I made the right decision. Because here's why, you fucking big pussy. I've never once to put your family up or nothing. I take your words from YouTubes and your lies, and I put them on blast. That's what I do. That's not fucking with your family or nothing. So you're such a crybaby chooch. Selfish little bitch. Uh, Anthony Sparrow to me was a garbage can. And now he's a garbage can two minutes later. He's a garbage can. Wow. Anthony Sparrow. You know, but this uh, Mikey Scars, I do want to talk about him. You know, he said so something. Oh, jealous of the other rats. Something about that. Uh, he called me a victim. Now You do play victim, Jimmy. You do play victim. So does Scares. Scares says... He's got a channel called No Excuses, but he's got an excuse that I was shelved. They shelved me, so I told on everybody. But I will say this one thing about Skiz. He's not on here attacking families, doxing people, and doing that shit. So I don't like Skiz. I think he's a total fucking scumbag. But he's not on here doing slimy shit like you are. You're doing some real slimy shit. Like you, you're like lower than all the other rats. Like even A Light didn't do that shit, man. Try to get people's children's fucking pictures and mother's pictures. You're a real creepy fucking stool pigeon, Jimmy. Listen, Mike, I ain't no victim. That's a hundred percent. You uh, you play the victim card perfectly. You love the victim. I ain't role. no victim. I went to jail at the age of twenty three years old. Okay, Wait. I did six years in prison. I you know what this is, Jimmy? That's the it's the world's smallest violin, silent violin playing for you. Okay, kept my mouth shut. Okay. So you didn't. I come home 11 months later. Um, back in MDC, Brooklyn. Okay. Look at yourself, That's Joey right. Molino. Yeah, once again. Because Joey Molino, look at you down, Joey Molino. Why don't you take a look in the mirror, rat? Like I said, you got bed head, disheveled hair. You're all cracked out. You got fur around the side of your face. The other side shaved. You can't even fucking shave. You're all Stumbali living in the car with toilet paper. I hope it's clean back there. Everyone's looking at you. You're the big time rat now. <laughs> wow, he's hey, not. Look at you're him. the one with a podcast. You're not a stand up guy no more, Joe Molino. Believe me, you're not. So take it from him. Jimmy's the streets. Jimmy's the authority. Jimmy knows. Take it from Emmy. Take it from Emmy, who took it from Sammy. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh -huh, here's some late night crack smoking almost in Pittsburgh. We are almost home, folks. Almost home. Don't worry. By the end of the video, we will be in Pittsburgh. And this is a crack mission. Crack monster. Welcome to the Nightly Crack Monster Show, starring Jimmy and the Little Helmets and the Joy Boys. Just a quick uh, story I wanted to tell you. I'm sitting back. I'm watching uh, Joey Molino talk to... He's the still he's smoking crack in his car for two days straight, thinking about Joey Molino. Wow. Fan boy. Guy Dominic Korea. Now Dominic. Oh, now he's gonna diss Dom again. What the fuck's your problem? Are you jealous because we push back worked and your little website and your little queer movement of online bullies? We punch back, fucking flopped and failed. You goof. And you couldn't even be original and think of your own words. You fucking bum. Dominic Korea is the guy uh, that created We Push Back with all the people who cooperated. His father was not with all the people who cooperated. He he did it himself and he put up people who cooperated. You fucking dunsky. Uh, Steven Wonderboy Korea. 
Mm -hmm. uh, that's a fake name, Jimmy. Stephen Wonderboy Crea is not his father. Doesn't have a nickname, and it surely isn't Wonderboy Crea. That's a government fake name put on there by one of your pals, John Panisi, Ghost Boy. An acting boss at one time. Says the guy was never a boss. He was an acting boss. Like he was That's just the running the show for a little while until Manny Madonna came home. And he glorifies and what's up, Lou Land? He's gonna say that number one, pull up some receipts. Show me where JTP ever glorifies mobsters or killers or anything that you're gonna try to say right here. It's bullshit. That's why he never has receipts. What's up, Lou Land? What's up, Mobland? Yeah, there's no 500. That's fake numbers. Those are fake numbers. Justifies all these gangsters. No one justifies gangsters. Not again. This rap bastard has been throwing this bullshit out for the longest time, and it's just ridiculous. Even his own rat friends know it's not true. It's stupid. Like, they're all good guys, but anyone who cooperate with the government is not a good guy. Well, I can't speak for Dominic, but I've never heard Dominic say all mob guys are good guys. Never once has he ever said that. And no, not all mob guys are good guys, but not all mob guys are bad guys, neither. A lot of them good dads, good uncles, good fathers, good fucking brothers and family people. OK, you fucking shit bum. I, so I want everyone to know Dominic Crea, the paralegal, <laughs> uh, he glorifies all these gangsters and all these bad people that are in jail, but he talks bad about anyone who cooperated. Oh, so he doesn't like rats. Sounds like a great guy to me. Yeah, no shit he doesn't like rats, you moron. He's very triggered. <laughs> Jimmy don't even know what trick it is. He's very triggered. <laughs> uh, people who cooperate. He has a website we push back. No, it's called doesn't like them. And when they come on YouTube and make lies up, he puts them on his website and documents the lying informants to educate future jurors and other reasons. Stupid. They need to create a website about Dominic Crea. So he already has one. We push back. And even if you did, what are you going to say? Okay, father, uh, good guy, hardworking uh, man. I don't, what could you say about the guy? Give me a break. He what? He played. Oh my God! We found he played football in high school or baseball or something. Like what the fuck? Someone needs to do that. Create a website. Look at him dog whistling. See, this is what Jimmy does. He's such a little pussy vagina. What he does is he dog whistles to people. Somebody should make this up about this, but then somebody should do this. It's dog whistling. What's up, Carol? Both Carols. Finn. What's up, Giovanni? The Fenian. About Dominic Crea. Talk about his past his background mm -hmm. and what he's doing today as far as putting other people's names on his we push back yeah that exactly well, what a slow fucking turtle this guy is what a dunsky thanks for the promotion idiot because he's so triggered of people who cooperated no it's called morals and you don't like people like that emmy emmy the crack pusher crack boy Look at him. You don't think he's smoking coke right now? He got booted out of his house for whatever reason. He's fucking, he drove all the way to Pittsburgh and he is smoking coke. I believe in Pittsburgh smoking coke, stealing kids Easter eggs, probably inhaling those little Easter eggs. Maybe he threw him out of the house. Fucking shit, bum. Exactly, Kid Rock. Amen to that. That's why I'm a, I'm a, I've always supported We Push Back, and I will always be a We Push Back supporter because it aligns what I believe in. So, Dominic Crea, <laughs> we're going to put you. <laughs> we're going to put you. Tell it, Don. I, I, I. What a simpleton. On the shine list, maybe uh, wow. we'll let everyone know about. What's up, Bill? Look at him. Hey, dear, dear. Look at him taking a fit. Looks like he's taking a fit. A picture of a prostitute throwing little crack, little crack, uh, little crack rocks in his mouth from across on the from the passenger side. Look at him smoking coke in the car, three in the morning, all alone on his way to Pittsburgh. And wait till you see where he lands in Pittsburgh. He's literally in a crack shack. Maybe uh we'll let everyone know about you, what you're doing. You're a paralegal. Uh-oh, uh -oh. Dominic said he was a paralegal. He had a channel called, he's got a channel, so I'll drop his channel link, Justice Tech Pros. If you haven't subbed to this channel, drop it. 
the Justice Tech Pros channel. It's a it's a fuck. He's a paralegal. That's what he does. He said that from day one. <laughs> what law firm you're working for? He says where he is. He's told all you rats before. He doesn't make threats on here. He says you're gonna problem me. Come down and see me at my office. Bottom line. He doesn't come on here and make threats to people like you do. You threatened that man twice. You told him you wanted to meet him in a bond. He told you to go get fucked. Then you said you're going to punch him. Then you're going to have the FBI called on him. Just like you said about me. And let's start talking about what you're about. What you're about. Because you just told everybody what it is about. Everybody knows he's about. Go check out his website, wepushback.com. Go check out his YouTube channel, Justice Tech Pros, and the We Push Back channel. Fucking dope. You ain't no better than uh, a guy who cooperated or wow. a scumbag that's doing prison. You're no better guy. Look how mad he is. Look at the inner self hatred, the insecurity, the fucking lack of manhood, the lack of self accountability, the lack of a father. Where you are a father, dude. You should be with your children, not off in some crack stupor, all disheveled in a fucking car at three in the morning. Time for a crime he committed. Anyone in jail that... You no, know, his father didn't commit that crime at all. No, his father was lied on. So were the other four men. Committed murders to you as a nice guy. You actually... You no, know, no one ever said people can murder as a nice guy. This guy's such a fucking idiot. Glorify this guy, Nick Cole Cologne. Nick Cologne. He glorifies... JTP glorifies Cologne. Yeah, he's really into cool water or Jakar. I don't know what kind he wears, but <laughs> how would I fucking know? But yeah, he's real into Cologne. Uh, MRE, this punk. You glorify. You call me a punk. I've never said I was coming to your house to beat you up. You said you were coming to my house four times. One time you said you're going to come put a bullet in my head. You're going to come down and fight me. All you're going to confront me. Four weeks ago, you did a short video saying, Nick Cologne, I'm coming down to confront you. And we're going to talk face to face. Where the fuck are you? You never came, you wolf ticket salesman. You fucking dunsky, you clown. You simpleton, you shell of a man. By him, you justify him. You and all your little rat friends are fucking terrified. You's a fucking all terrified. You's a pussy, He's just like kitten. And yes, kitten is terrified. You got all these punks running around for you. So, uh. Yeah, where's the cologne? Nick Cologne. Hey, Nick Cologne. I like Nick Cologne. Harry Calandra. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I, he's yeah. He remember he said he was gonna eat my ass. I'm not even joking. I'm using the chat. No, I'm telling the truth. If somebody's here for the first time, I'm not a wacko. He said he was gonna eat my ass. What's up, Carol? God bless you. Check out Carol's channel, Primo Mike. He said he was gonna eat my backside. Stick his hand up my backside. The helmet is gel. Yes, yes, he is. He's jealous of the rats, too, because they're making money on here. So is Marlino making money on here. You just said the same. Yeah, it, uh, it's all about the money, bro. It's all about the money. He's not making shit. He used to make good money off YouTube. He don't make it no more. Once you get caught lying and you're a story channel, you're all about telling stories and all that shit. When you get caught. Making up fucking lies on your channel. Like I said, I don't care if it's about westerns, fucking ponies, whatever. Your people are not going to watch you no more. Only a small bunch of sick of fans will stick around. Who the fuck wants to, If you're going to lie about one thing, you're going to lie about 100. And he's got about four Tommy Karate videos where he says he's reading sp uh, newspapers to Tommy Karate because Tommy can't read good. This is coming from Jimmy Calamandria, who can't even... Uh, Pronounce Italian last names or spell. Him and John Panisi had a spelling bee. It took six weeks to finish. Hopefully someone puts a website with your name on it because you're a scumbag piece of shit. Says the rat scumbag piece of shit. And now where oh where could Jimmy be? Crack cocaine took him away from kitties. Pookie's back in Pittsburgh. What's up, uh? Oh, Krumel, what's up? How's your mom? Seymour, what's going down? 
Now look where he's okay. at. Oh. He's in the crack shack, baby. I got me a crack pipe. It's as big as a whale. And I'm about to set sail. Crack shack, baby. Look at this old steel bed. He's someplace in Pittsburgh cracking it up. He's not even welcomed in his family's home in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh Pookie is back. The rocks are being cooked. Oh, my God. And look, in the same outfit, all disheveled. Let's see what Emmy's got to say when he finally is back in Pittsburgh. Pookie's back. Guess who's back? Tell a friend. Sell some cracks. Smoke again. See more. I've been out of prison for about 18 years. You've been out 18 years, and you're still a fucking shit bum sitting in a crack shack right now. Get your shit together, Emmy. You had your chance. You blew it! Just like Copland with De Niro said to Stallone. Hey, you deaf fuck. You blew it! You blew it with your YouTube channel. You should have listened to Sammy the Bi, Schmeagel. Gravano, the child killer. Shout out to Joy Ferracci and go to Al Justice Fallon Kaiser YouTube page. I mean, Facebook page and give it a like. He blew it. Sammy told him, don't deal with these fucking small channels. Don't fight with these fucking guys who hate rats. Do your thing. Tell your stories. He didn't listen to Schmeagel. Acid tops, power bottoms. Okay. I've been walking this straight line yeah. doing the right thing going to work waking my ass taking care of my family really you're taking care of your family here really hmm none of these people anything they say anything they do can't hurt me and well you listen if it couldn't hurt you or it didn't hurt you you wouldn't be talking about doesn't he look rough bad company bro he don't look rough that's what i'm saying bro Acid tops and power bottoms. Emmy Calamandria. What's up, Andrew, the right winger? Yeah, oh, acid tops and power bottoms. Five grand for a weekend slam bam. Thank you, man. At Emmy Calamandria and Sammy Gravano sleepover party where they played Twister and they played Hide the Gerbils. Ugh. This guy paid five grand and he got a 15 minute fucking video. Calamandria. Fucking sc grimy. Bad here, Emmy. Remember the no more of the days of Vidal Sassoon when his hair was slicked back and he shaved. Now he's got whiskers on his cheeks and a fucking real scrubbed up Justin Bieber scrubby little hairdo. Things are looking real bad, Emmy. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> So he he might have. Oh my! Yeah, it's a flop house, doesn't he? Look, it looks like a, it looks like that house on Kingpin. You know where that guy was staying? Remember where Roy was staying on Kingpin, where he had to do that filthy uh, thing to that woman. He had to do that thing to stay there. It looks like the the house on Kingpin. What's his name on Kingpin? Munson. Jimmy's all Munson out of nowhere. Jimmy, you're Munson all the way. You're Munson all the way out in Pittsburgh, Jimmy. Something about Mary's brother, Warren. Don't touch my ears. You're fucking Munson out in nowhere, Emmy. How does it feel to be Munson out there right now? Tell me, how does that really feel? Stop putting on the act. The show's over. It's over. And you're never going to offend me, believe me. I don't care about you. My life goes on. Let's bring it back. Okay, look. He doesn't care. Listen, the, the, the last three videos, all he's doing is crying about people. He doesn't care about them. He's better than everybody. He's happier. He's this -er, He's that -er. He's the coolest. He's got the bestest life. But here he is crying, a 55-year-old man crying into a fucking YouTube channel, into a fucking video camera about his fucked up video. <laughs> Jealous of the other stool pigeons because they're making some skidall on here. Yes, even that weirdo Tonto might have some breaking news on him this week. Uh, don't know yet if it's credible or not. I might have, must have to speak to somebody. But uh, let's get back to Emmy and uh, Emmy's little Pittsburgh Pook. Pittsburgh's back. Pookie's back. Smoke some crack. I've been out of prison for about. 18 years, okay? Exactly. I've been walking up, a straight bro. line, doing the right thing, going to work, breaking my ass, taking care of my family. You haven't been doing the right thing. Emily. None of these people, 
anything they say, anything they do can't hurt me. And you're never going to offend me. Believe me. I don't care about you. My life goes on every day. I make a video and I go on with my life. If I go out my life. No, you don't. No, you don't. We've heard about the fits. I've heard about the nervous breakdown you took around the blood of the lamb time. I heard about the other crying fits that you were on the phone with a couple of YouTube guys uh, having fits, crying. Yeah, I was with Dean, but up wood. Yes, he's in a flop house, just like my fucking Munson. Munson out in a flop house smoking crack. Smoking crack in Pittsburgh, just like he was smoking. He doesn't tell them stories like Gnostic said. He doesn't tell the Pittsburgh uh, pookie stories, smoking crack out in Pittsburgh. He leaves all that shit out. But he's back in Pittsburgh right now, and you bet your ass he's got to be hitting the pipe. Look at him. Kisses. I do kisses. Potato. Cross my path, that'll be a different story. Because oh, gonna... if, if we cross his path, that'll be a different story. But a week ago, you said you were coming to kill me. That'll be a different story. Because I'm going to tell you, in all honesty, I don't give a fuck about not one of you. How many times has he said that in these videos? If I had a nickel for every time he said that, I could buy a Jolly Rancher or two. Jesus. The fuckies. And that's the truth. No, okay? It's I don't care. The video proves it's not the truth. It was about none of you. Okay? Then why so are you talking about people? Tell some of your fake mob stories. Yeah, he's a big fucking chooch, man. Oh, you said Cheech. Was there a Frank in here or a Frankie or somebody with that name? That's usually the Italian name for Cheech. But, oh, man, sick. Such a clown, ain't it? Soda Pop Curtis and Dallas Winston are going to be there with Johnny Cade. And they know this guy's a clown. Yeah, he's breaking down. He's in a flop house smoking crack. Having a nervous breakdown, insecurities. He's not making the money he used to. It's hurting him mentally. Oh, he sees you got to stop watching Joey Molino's podcast. Okay. You got to stop watching the podcast because it's hurting you deeply. And stop watching the rats too. Do anything you like, say anything you like. You got the freedom of speech just like I do. Well, then why have you threatened me numerous times and say that they should dox my family? You got your little chimp friends put my family's pictures up. What if I says next time they put my family's pictures up, I would do that to you? Well, because you know I don't do shit like that. But there's going to be a an MRE with no morals one day. And I can't wait till one pops up, tell you the truth. I wish somebody came along that was more vicious and had no fucking morals. And when these guys dox and do rotten shit, someone does it right back to them. Okay, and believe me, you can't bother me. I live my life. I, I've bothered you for two years, bitch. I've made you say my name, scream my name, cry. You've taken fits about me. You've put my fucking picture, my name on your Instagram channels to try to get people to come fight me from my own cities. They laughed at you. <laughs> they laughed at you. You've been trying to do that for fucking two years, dickhead. What's up, Deborah? What's up, Maddie? For two years, Docs in Queens, also crack fiend. Uh, thank you, Claudio. Make sure you go check out the music man, Claudio. So if it didn't bother him, why would he be doing that? Why would he be doing that? Of course it bothers him. Every day, and I'm happy with it, okay? Oh, yeah. You people are the one that are triggered. You think you would go on YouTube and you could attack people Listen. and nobody's going to attack you back? Sorry, those days are over. We're going to attack you back now. So when you say something about me, I'm going to say something about you. And Please do, Jimmy. That's what, that's what I love. Get in the sandbox. Because all I can do is absorb subscribers off of you and make subs off of you. You can't do that off of me. Ha, 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 ha. It's a wonderful thing. But what he really means here is looking up families and shit like that. So thanks for telling everybody you got your soy boys. And he's saying we, not just Jimmy, because he don't even know how to do shit like that. He's done with a computer. He's got his little soy boys, his chimpanzees, his rippos, his FBSs, his pulse smokes, who do his doxing and shit for them. I right, let them keep putting up families, Jimmy. You're stupid. Someone's going to come along one day and they're not going to be as nice as I am. And that's going to. And you're stupid by saying that because now you're just admitting you've got a bunch of people doing that. You're stupid. Very stupid, Emmy. I love it, little helmet. That's basically. All right. So now you're going to mention me again, you big bitch.
how it's going to be. We don't give a fuck about you. You don't see the we, we, how, how that guy, you just said you can't trust nobody. A video before this right here. I don't trust nobody. They talk. I don't trust Paul Smoke and Piggy. You didn't say their names, but that's who you mean. I don't trust them, but now it's a we. Goof. Don't give a fuck about me. That's fine. Sky. Don't call it no. a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. Emmy's been telling for years, smoking crack with queers, chasing deers. I can't rap. Only Christmas gifts on Christmas Eve when you need to. What a sick puppy this son of a bitch is, man. What a sick bastard. He's in Pittsburgh right now, I believe, smoking cocaine. In the sandbox only helps me. Only helps me being in the sandbox. I say, please, every day mention my name. Every day. Uh, thank you very kindly, Heather. God bless you. Dang, we are, yeah, we, because he, for some reason, he thinks, Assassinino, what's going down? Minnie Namucha, Lou Land, my friend, what's up? Queen of Mean, Carol, TFs, what's up? Agent Provocateur. Yeah, JC's on, yeah. Yeah, it's classic. He's a sick bastard. We'll get to that one day. The days of Vidal Sassoon is over. You see his hairdo? He's fucking cracked out. What's up, Grump? He's all cracked out, dude. <laughs> He's all pookie up in this motherfucker. He's Pittsburgh pookie. Everybody knows who pookie is, right? Hold on a second. Picture pookie. I'll show you this. I'm smoking crack with the pipe. Uh, what's up? Uh, and uh, all the channels that I used are in the description. The Rat Trap City channel, the Lying Informants channel. Uh, I put the We Push Back website. Remember Pookie, New Jack City? This is why I call Jimmy Pittsburgh Pookie. Come on, Scotty, man, help me, man. Remember he starts dancing, they find out he's got the wire on him. That pot's hilarious. You're going to put some uh, Emmy face on that, literally. <clears throat> yeah, so once Emmy very disheveled, uh, having a nervous breakdown, what's going to happen? We will keep uh, we will keep on top of the Jimmy Pittsburgh Pookie crack situation. Uh, I will do a stream with uh, Jeff Crow stream this week on the big Detroit mob guy and all that. Boy, his story's all changed. He's a sick puppy. You shouldn't have done all that fucked up shit, JC. Remember, I still got the video of you threaten, uh, threatening to kill John Gotti's daughter. Threatened to shoot a grandmother. Yep, Team Snitch. And uh, the New California podcast, he said he worked with all the Mexicans. And when I watched that New California podcast, dude, you were literally on there saying you wanted to deport the Mexicans. So it, it made no sense, but that's JC for you. But, hey, everybody, I want to thank you for watching. Uh, if you do have a channel uh, and you're in the chat, drop your link. Uh, God bless you all. I hope you've had a great Easter and everything. Don't be a Jimmy Calamandria. Uh, don't be an Emmy at all. Worry about your children. Put your kids first. Don't come on YouTube and tell people to look up people's children. And you got two teenage fucking daughters. It's not smart. Uh, grazie. And uh, Sniper's on the roof. Sniper's on the roof. Uh, revisit Gay C this week. Gay C this week. You little meme making scumbag. You think we forgot about you? Oh, no. We're going to chalk one off of you, too, this week. Soft white underbellies. Man, they should do their research. Got to keep listening to A-Light and Gene Barello, the scumbag, man. What's up, Aegon? Say no to the phrase, Aegon. Fuck them phrase, brother. Yeah, happy Easter to all. And God bless you all. Hold on. Let me show you my other Jimmy thing. I couldn't get the... I couldn't switch the other avatar. Uh, we have pretty in pink. Pretty in pink. We have Emmy in the high chair. I call this Jimmy's Jerry Lewis. And then we have White Knight Jimmy to the rescue. And then we have OG FBI Emmy, where he's happy, where every stool pigeon knows his name. <laughs> Emmy, 
I can't wait till you start getting high as a kite at three in the morning going lie in a cracks fucking bin stupor. In a crack stupor, I can't wait. Calm the breaker of chains. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Everybody likes the white knight. Yeah, I know. I got to do a history stream, Claudio. I got to do a history stream. What's that? You know, call the cops. Call the cops. They're making fun of me on YouTube. Call the cops, guys. Make sure you guys sub to Roscoe. He's been streaming. Call the cops. And my boy, Mob Rats One over there. My buddy, DJ Mandingo. And Assassinino, sub to the channels. No, but in all reality, Laurie Love, what's going down? Ha <laughs> uh ha, -huh, Emmy. Everybody's laughing, Emmy. 